and praises be given to our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let thanks, praises, honor be given to our Father, leader of Lumba, Lumba, Obu, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let thanks, praises, honor Dominion and adoration ever be thine for now and evermore. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, most merciful Father. Most compassionate Father, and the most righteous Father. Father, here we are, thy sinful children. Father, we have come once again before thy throne of mercy. Father, we have come, knowing fully well that we've sinned against thee, Father. Father, we've done so many unseeming things. We lie, we cheat, Father. We don't even put your words into practice. We've sinned against the Father with our entire bodies. We've sinned against it through our thoughts, actions, and all trances. Father, we're not worthy to call upon thy holy name. We thank you, dear Father, for indeed you are not like man, for you have said that even though our sins be read as crimson, and that whenever we come to thee with penitent heart, confessing all our wrongdoings, Father, I did promise you take us back. Amen. Father, here we are, still on our bended knees, still begging and pleading, Father, for it was for this same reason that you sent your only begotten Son to come and die for the remission of all our sins. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for indeed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary has washed us clean, both in our bodies. And our souls, Father, so the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for all the patient. Thank you also for showing mercy. Through showing mercy, you've given each and every one of us a second chance. A second chance to be good children unto thee. A second chance to always put the first in everything that we do. A second chance to do thy work. The way it is supposed to be done. A second chance to always speak the truth and practice righteousness so that it will be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, dear Father, for all the wonderful things you've been doing in our midst. We thank you for daily care, daily protection. Thank you for being the only provider for your children. Thank you also for being the greatest doctor in our midst. We thank you most sincerely, Father, for healing. All our sicknesses, no matter the nature and the duration of the sickness, just by believing and trusting in the Father, you've taken away all our sicknesses, all our infirmities, and afflictions here and there. Father, salutations and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, how about those who are looking for work? This 2020, Father, you have assured us that you've opened all doors for your children. Especially all those who believe in thee and do thy will. Thank you for coming down by yourself, sending no one. Father, through your coming, you gathered all your children the world over. Thank you also for putting all things into ship shape order for your children. But we don't have to envy, quarrel, or fight over. For indeed, Father, you are just enough for each and every one of us. 
Therefore, I say, let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, Father, we thank you for the brotherhood of the cross and star. Thank you, Father, for making her to stand out. Thank you, Father, that you have made her to be your place, your abode, so that all those who believe in thee when they come in, they will see thee face to face. Father, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. Thank you for coming down by yourself, sending no one. Thank you, Father, for you love us so much. You care for us so much, Father. You don't just want us to perish. That's why they keep teaching us to have love one for another. Thank you for also admonishing us to always do good so that only good things will follow us wherever we go. <laughs> Father, so the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for all your children around the different Pentecostal centers. Thank you, Father, for the blessings here, Father. You take this blessing and bless them too. Father, so let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for indeed nobody ever comes to thee and goes back empty-handed. Empty-handed we did come. By the time you are through with us here, Father, we will go home filled with all thy blessings. Father, so let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. That is why we look up to thee for everything. And thank you for being everything for us. Thank you for constantly fighting all our secret and open wars for us. Thank you for being an all-conquering God. For you have indeed conquered for all your true children. Father, we are all saying as you've seen all our situations. Thank you for changing all bad situations into good situations. <laughs> As for our already good situation, Father, thank you for making them to be the best situation. Amen. Thank you for finally taking dominion over your entire children. Father, no matter where they are right now in the world, as long as they believe in thee, and they love thee more than anything else, and they have also surrendered completely into thy care by putting all the injunctions into practice, thank you, dear Father, for giving them all. What to testify about thy holy name. <laughs> Father, as we hand over everything into thy mighty name, Father, we simply pray and ask that only thy will be done upon each and every one of us. <laughs> as for all your children here, all those who are faithful and sincerely answered, Amen. <laughs> Father, you make sure that all is perfectly. Well with us for now and ever. Let <laughs> thanks praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks praises be given to the one and only mighty, mighty God in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, let all thanks, all praises, all honor, all wisdom, all power, all authority, and supremacy be given to thee and thee alone for now and evermore. We praise our Father as we sing in Brother with Him Nari, hymn number 821. 81. Our most righteous Father God, help us cling to thee. Like the disciples of old, let our prayers be. As thou, Lord, hast brought us unto thyself, let us not come short of this kingdom offered free.
Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 25. Our first Bible lesson is an excerpt from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 from verse 21 to 25. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me ye that walk in iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. May the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. Our second Bible reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 10. Our second Bible lesson is recorded in the first epistle of all the apostles to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 1 through 10. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass. Or a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffereth long, and its kind. Charity envieth not. Charity venteth not itself. It is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things, charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. May the Lord bless his holy word.
Taken from Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 to 50. Our golden text is recorded in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 12, reading verses 46 to 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. May the Father bless the reading of his holy words. Love. Is the key. Love is the key. Our Father says, Love in one another. Love is the key. Show love to all our son, please. Respect our body. Respect all our son, please. I didn't tell you you be Hindu, you know my tongue at all. You be Muslim, you know my tongue at all. You be Christian, you know my tongue at all. Where you come from, you know my tongue at all. The language you they speak, you know my tongue at all. You be Buddhist, you know my tongue at all. I say, you know my tongue at all. We are serving the true and living God. Olumba is for every creature. Our Father is for everybody, Alumba has come from everybody. Do not condemn, do not despise, do not fight, do not envy, do not condemn, do not kill one another. A father says, loving one another. Love is the key. Alumba says, Love is the key. Father says, Love is the key. Our father says, Love is the key. Here in this new kingdom of God, He wants us to be together. He needs one as I say. We need to be one in the Lord. We need to stand firm in the Lord. We need to be one in Alumba. Whether you get position or not, whether you dare somewhere or not, respect one another. I say, respect anyone that is above you. If you look down on somebody, you do not know tomorrow. Respect one another. 
Walk with, walk with one another in love and in peace. Make you know they cause confusion. Make you know they scatter. I say, be straight, be straightforward in all you do. You hear. He preaches day by day. Love one another genuinely. Love all and sundry genuinely. Give some to the poor. Show love to the destitute. Show them love. They need your love. They need your love. They need your love. I say, our Father says, loving one another. Love is the key. All of us say. Love is the key. Our Father says, love is one another. Yeah, yeah. Love is the key. See, pastors not preaching about prosperity. They do not preach about love. I say, all they want to do is money, money, money. What about the foundation of life? The foundation of life is love. I say, and our Father is telling us to love all our sundry day by day. Whether you be Hindu, it no matter at all. Whether you be Christian, it no matter at all. Whether you be Chinto, it no matter at all. Whether you be Buddhist, it no matter at all. Anywhere you come from, it no matter at all. Love away, love away, love away, love, love, love. Love, not a key. Love, 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 not a key. If it be not dying for the cross of Calvary, now where we find them and wonder, wonder. Now where you find them and wonder, wonder. He was tortured, tortured and disgraced. He was slapped on the face. Then gave him vinegar to go drink. A crown of thorns he was decorated with. The PSD on the streets. Oh, what a wonderful love. Oh, oh. Unprecedented love. A wonderful love. No love like this. Yeah. Love for another. Yeah. Be like Columba. Oh, oh. Let's emulate Columba. Yeah. Sean fight. Sean Hatred, Sean Coralina, Sean Hatred, Sean Coralin, Dima, 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 Love is the key. All Love is the key. I wanna say. Love is the key. I wanna say. Love is the key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Three happy chairs with the Holy Spirit. Right. Dear brethren, let us hear once again our first Bible reading. Our first Bible lesson is an excerpt from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, from verse 21 to 25. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that walk in iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. May the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. Dear brethren. That is what we have for you today. 
I know we'll be hearing, oh, this is judgment time. And you say, ah, after all, judgment started from the time of Adam. Now let me hear something else. Well, for your information, this is a time of reward. God is rewarding people who put his words into practice. And he's also recognizing them. God will not force you to do his work. It's through your personal conviction to do his work. And that's the way he wants it. He does not want to force anybody to do his work or to obey him or to put his uh, words into practice. It's for your own good. If you can put his words into practice. Because if you put his words into practice, you never have any problem whatsoever. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us get a witness here. Second Timothy chapter 2 verses 3 to 5. Our witness is taken from the second epistle of Paul to Timothy. Chapter 2 from verse 3 to 5. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. May the Father bless the reading of his holy word. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Oh. the Holy Spirit. How many understand that text? I'm a good soldier of God. Like the crusaders, they will tell you, I'm a soldier. What kind of soldier are you? Do you put his word into practice? Eh? Do you obey his word? Do you have love? The text is all telling you that. It's all for you to declare yourself a soldier. Because God has put stringent condition. He must have love. How many crusaders have love? Love others like themselves. These are the things that you must do. And he has given us three things. Love, faith, and hope. This is the motto of brotherhood of the cross and Sabi. Eh? How many have love? How many have faith? How many believe in hope? Eh? This is the thing. Love is the key. Key to everything. That is one of the stringent conditions you must have. If I ask you how, how many people here have love, I know everybody, they are going to raise their hands out of shame. But do you have love? Huh? Do you love everybody like yourself? Mother misleading their children. Father misleading their children. All in the name of my child, my this, my that. Do you love them? Do you? Do you believe in love? Do you believe that if you love everybody, he can bless you for it? Eh? Because many here, they love their own. They don't love others. You love people from your community. And the other community can go to hell. Eh? Is that not why you have communal clashes? If they were to love themselves, would there be any war? Would there be any community war? This one fighting to take this other one's land. Did you create that land? Is it not God's uh, property that you are fighting for? He said you are a good soldier of Christ. And they tell you don't eat meat and fish. Are you not still eating meat and fish? Eh? Does that make you a good soldier? Does that? In front of people, you eat... Uh, you eat the mushroom. Whereas you have your hideout, once in a while, you go there and eat your meat and fish. Eat whatever you want. And come out and pretend. This is not the era of pretense. So this is the era that you must be real. By hearing his word and putting it into practice. 
So you see, he has placed very stringent condition. That is why he does not force anybody to do his work. He must do it out of your own free will. He has the ability to give it to you, but he will not give it to you unless you are ready, you make up your mind to work for him, and the ability will come. That is why he has made that statement that it is not all those who call him, Lord, Lord, I did this for you. I did that for you. It is those who believe in him and put his word into practice. Like Father has said, 2020 will be the year of brotherhood. I know you answer me. <laughs> I'm trying to make a statement. I've not concluded. <laughs> huh? I said, Father, I said, 2020 will be a year for the brotherhood children. <laughs> Here you go again. I said, I'm making a statement. I know that's what you wish. And that is the wish for all the true children of brother. Those who will have love. Those who will obey him. And put his word into practice. The year 2020 will be for you. <laughs> it won't be a year for those who keep going around begging. Stealing. Telling lies. Will it be your year? It's for those who undergo the stringent condition. You obey him. You love him. You love everybody. And you have faith in him. Then this year will be your year. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? A visioner will come and give one or two correct visions. And in the end he will tell you, Father say, I should come and sleep in your house. And you agree. Which father said that? Which father? What I'm saying, is it not true? Am I lying? Because the person is a visioner. Visioner for who? Does the person have love? Eh? Does that person believe in God? Because most visioners don't believe in God. Though, because they know you like vision. So they research. They do all kinds of things to convince you. Whereas if you surrender yourself to him, if you obey him, that vision another person sees, he will make sure you see that vision yourself. Before anything happens to you, he will tell you. Amen. But you always like, allow people to do the thing for you. How sincere are those people? How genuine are those people? Oh, he's my brother because he's wearing white. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It is not all visioners that drop something in their eyes. Vision comes from God. And those who are from God, they are real. They have love. A situation where visioner will give you vision and tell you pay me 20,000, 50,000. Because this thing is given freely. And you must give it out freely without any charge. So anybody who charges for vision is not a visioner. He must make money so that when that eyes would burst, because the things you put in your eyes will burst one day. It will surely burst. You know? And then you say, oh, I've been seeing vision in brotherhood. Look at me now. Everybody has ignored me. When you were enjoying the money, did you remember? So your eyes will burst. Eh? So this is the thing. Don't get me wrong. They are true visioners. But when you see their lifestyle, they have love. They believe in God. They have made the condition. You know? See now, if vision is from God and the person given the vision does something wrong, 
Do you know God takes away division immediately? Eh? He takes it away immediately. And that's the time to keep to the reputation of same vision. They go and do something else. <laughs> and you think, oh, it's the same vision. How can it be? This is a year. You must not be deceived. Into believing what you are not supposed to believe. Or following who you are not supposed to believe. Haven't you heard that the kingdom of this world has become that of Jehovah God and his Christ? If you follow him, if you believe in him, if you put his word into practice, nobody will come and deceive you. God has given us different gifts. Your gift might be other gift, not visioning. It doesn't mean that those who see vision will go to heaven immediately or straight ahead. The question is, do you have love? Because if you don't have love and you see vision, does it mean that you go to heaven? You can never. If you like, see from here to Jericho. If you don't have love, you don't go anywhere. It's just a waste of time. You know? It is those who love that their names will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Out of love, faith, and hope. They say the greatest is love, right? Uh -huh. Love will open all doors for you. But a situation where you don't have love and you expect something good, is it possible? Is it possible? No. It's not possible. Your love must be one that cuts across the board. It doesn't look at color. It doesn't look at beauty, whether you're beautiful, you're ugly. It does not. Wherever you come from, it doesn't matter. Whatever language you speak, it does not come in. You must love that person. Because it's God's creation. So let us not deceive ourselves. Our God is great. I say our God is great too. He can't deceive you. And he will never deceive you. As long as you have love. You are his. He will know you. He will see you. He will walk with you. He can never walk against you. When once you have that true love for him and for all the people you see and meet. Love does not discriminate. Love does not segregate. True love. When they say love covers iniquity, Somebody does something to you, say, over my dead body, I must retaliate. I must get back at you. What have you done? What have you done? Where is the forgiveness? He said we should forgive one another. We want to get even or even destroy that person. So, dear brethren, we're not going to be tedious until you. Let us hear our second Bible reading once again. Our second Bible lesson is recorded. In first epistle of all the apostles to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 1 through 10. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffereth long and its kind. Charity envieth not. Charity venteth not itself. It's not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, 
Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. May the Lord bless his holy words. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. If there the Holy Spirit. You say you have love. I think you've heard the uh, true love there, what he does. He is patient. But here you are, you claim, I'm a brotherhood. I have love. But you tell people, I don't have patience for that at all, at all, at all. Son. What kind of love is that? Eh? Or you say, I don't have time for that nonsense. Is that love? Eh? Love tolerates. Love is kind. Love is not wicked. Oh. When you go and wicked somebody, think you have love. See what love does? When you go home, read it again. Especially when you claim you have love. Because most people claim they have love. Is your love patient? Is your love kind? Is your love humble? You say you have love, you hate. Eh? Do you know, no matter if you do the greatest thing, if you don't have love, that thing you've done is nonsense. It doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't take you anywhere. I think you remember Solomon now. Solomon built a temple for God. Did God accept that temple? You think when you go and do 419, you use the money and build better for God. You think God will clap for you? You think God will clap for you? Is it not you say, uh -huh -huh, this money where I don't steal, make I build better, so that those that stole money from will not find you. Is that not the reason? Solomon built temple for God, but he disobeyed God. If you marry a woman who worship idol, it did not even stop there. It built a, a place for that woman to worship her own God. Eh? And he has told you that he's a jealous God. I have no other God but me. He said you are a brotherhood. You go and join cult. You join all kinds of things. Are you still a brotherhood? How can it be? It can never happen. So that was the case of Solomon. And all those who do the same thing, God doesn't have your time. I say he will not have your time. As long as you deviate. But if you are straight with him, you will love him and love all your neighbors, love everybody. Your love is straight. Your love is kind. He will bless you. I say he will bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See now. You are being promoted to a new pew. Another person is being promoted to that same pew. You are not happy. And why should the person be promoted to the same pew with me? Is it your pew? Huh? And then you start disqualifying that person. The person does this, does that. What about you? Do you have love? If you were to have love, wouldn't you be happy that another person joins you in the pew? Eh? Will you criticize? You condemn? Eh? I'm going to deal with that person. You can't deal with that person, let me tell you. If the person has love, you can never deal with that person. Instead, you deal with yourself. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything here is done out of love. It's done out of pure love. If you are there and you seek for promotion, it doesn't mean that you are not good. Though. Wait for your time. When your time comes, you'll be promoted. 
Even most people being promoted, did they expect it? Except for a few that lobby and do all kinds of things. And when the lobby doesn't work, they stop coming here. So all you wanted is promotion. You think promotion is periwinkle? That promotion is God is exposing you to see whether you truly have that love. Whether you can live up to expectation. Is that when you are promoted, you start behaving as if you are already in heaven? Is your name written in the land book of record? I think before you show up, find out if your name is there. You are not being promoted out of righteousness. Or you are the best brotherhood. So people have a lot of misconception. It's not a place to show off. It's a place for you to humble yourself and serve. You were not serving before. Many don't know that as a brotherhood, you must take examination. At every time, you must be examined. You must be tested. Huh? Maybe you may be humble. You may be kind. You may be very nice. But is there any love there? Huh? So you see, you must be tested at all times. Any score you make without love, you failed. Many of you have been failing many times over. So this is time for you to pass your exams. With love. Have love. Believe in him. Surrender to him. Obey him. And all will be well with you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear brethren, yes, dear brethren, oh, yes, may we hear our golden text once again. Our golden text is recorded in the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, reading verses 46 to 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. May the Father bless the reading of his holy words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. You see, our Lord Jesus Christ pointed his finger in a certain direction. And what was the direction? Direction of the disciples. And the question was who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who is my mother? Who is my father? Hmm? So now, where will I point my hand to? Eh? If I want to point my hand now, where will I point it to? Is it to you? Eh? Is it to you? I have told you this thing once before. I said, whether you are Olumba's child, Olumba's uncle, Olumba's brother, if you don't do the will of God, you are not my brother. And here he was demonstrating that only those who do my father's will are my brothers and sisters. So if you don't do his will, don't expect anything from me. I will not point any hand to you. All those who do his father's will are his brothers. Ah, you sisters, uncle, nephew, you name them. When you don't love him, 
And you say you're a brotherhood. Have you not betrayed him? You know inside you, you don't love anybody. You don't love anything, especially things that are done by other people. You want the one that is your own. You don't know you're a betrayer. Because he said, love everybody. Love everything created by him. God created animals. Created the fishes. Don't you kill them and eat them. Have you not betrayed him? Fish and meat. I said, have you not betrayed him? He gave us what to eat. Eh? He didn't say we should eat fish and meat. And okoroko. There are people here who cannot do without okoroko. They will wrap it and put it in their pocket. So that they can chew it like chewing stick. They say it is only Igbo people that love Okoroko. I found out that it is not only Igbo people who... Eh? Go to Okwaibom, they eat Okoroko very well. <laughs> and Calabar here. Who will cook a fang soup without Okoroko? <laughs> You've often heard that God is love. Our Lord Jesus Christ is love. Holy Spirit is love. Brotherhood of the cross and star is love. And you are here and you don't have love. May I ask you why are you here? Because the foundation of this place is love. And you don't have love. What do you want here? Eh? You want love to blind you? Because this is a house of love. It stands to reason that you must have love. In order for you to survive here. Yeah. For any good thing to happen to you here, yeah, it must have love. Others who used to prevail the entire brotherhood, he will give you money, he will make you rich. Now lie you. If you don't have love, forget it. Love is the key. Love is everything. The protection you need. If you don't have love, you won't be protected. Eh? That is why we say love is the key. Key to everything. Key to prosperity. Key to riches. Security. If you don't want to be kidnapped, have love. Now you are fear, oh, you'll be kidnapped tomorrow. You'll be kidnapped the next day. If you don't have love, you'll be kidnapped. But if you have love, kidnappers will not see you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm in Canada, 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 I'm in
Chorus, I am stepping down. Thank you, Father. It's not going to be they say it's enough for the wise. So, therefore, he who has ears, let him have hear what the Holy Spirit has given to us this afternoon. I say, May he alone, may he alone, may he alone bless his holy word. Amen. 